everyone and happy Monday. I can't believe it's the last Monday in February but here we are and we have this page. Now I've done this page already as a tutorial in the main World of Flowers book. Um, I think there was a brick wall background and each little pot I did in a separate video I think or a little batch of pots. So I've been trying to think about what can I do with this one to make it a little bit different when I seem to remember that I did all the pots in blues and all the flowers in pink so we won't be doing that this time. I've grabbed some different pencils as well. This is just a 24 set. I thought it'd be easier with regards to colour choices. Sometimes I get a little bit flummoxed by having a big choice of colour so I thought I'd use this. This is quite a well used tin though. Um, so they're quite short but that's okay now if you don't have the botanical set i think having a look most of these are available in the 72 set most of them so uh, and you should be able to substitute the old one or two if you need to like the gray is a Payne's gray you could use a dark um, um the cool gray dark deep i think it's called um, instead um that sort of thing i don't think there are many that many that aren't there so I all need a good sharpen but anyway let's get going let's come in a little closer now I think I want to try and simplify this a little bit um, for myself I'm going to start with doing the wood and that's quite straightforward I think I'm going to use my almost darkest brown <laughs> not the darkest the one before darkest which is called raw umber I'm going to do all the wood just with a layer of this to start with I may need to stop and sharpen in a minute they're all quite blunt, yeah. <laughs> Not sure why most of them are so blunt. One of them is really sharp, actually. It's been sharpened with a dowel sharpener. I can see that. I tend to um, use my dowel when the pencil breaks in my little sharpener. And uh, I don't know. The little sharpener takes up a bit less room on my desk, which is why I keep it handy. But the dowel is superior. So... Uh, I do grab that if one keeps breaking it's a good one to use I have had things break in that as well certain pencils just break right through most of the time they don't so I hope everyone's well on this Monday it's uh, Mondays are, can be a bit blur I know for people um, I try to uh, not think like that I do enjoy the weekends because the family are home but um, because I um, am self-employed and basically colouring is my business now, which is amazing. So, uh, you know, that all the, the money I earn is from YouTube and affiliate links and things like that, which is great. And it's not enough to, uh, to pay all the bills, but luckily husband um, does that. <laughs> so, but he's really pleased with what I'm doing and encouraging and doesn't want me to do anything else so that's really good and he knows that this will grow and uh, and you know increase as time goes on but uh, that's that's fine and he really enjoys his job too and he knows that it just he's just lucky that he actually probably puts in less hours than me but gets paid a lot more although he does have a commute which I don't which is rather nice Although I think in a way, if I had to walk somewhere each day, it might be good. It would encourage me to go out. I used to walk every day and uh, I've got a bit slack um, since, um, I guess, yeah, last. I used to, like, when the children were at school, take them to the, um, take them to school, do the school run and things like that. And then, uh, and then you'd have to pick them up and I would walk all the time I, I don't like driving don't, husband has the car anyway so I don't drive I haven't driven since the children were about four so it's for about they're 17 now so it's quite a long time I just never enjoyed it and uh, I didn't drive very much at all when they were young anyway I think it was younger than that um, I uh, I didn't I drove them once and I, I used to I get petrified driving anyway and I was so frightened with my precious babies in the car that I just didn't want to do it again. And then I did had to do it one other time. Husband was going away 
and he needed to get to the station with a heavy case so he drove there early in the morning and uh, I had to get the car back again later rather than paying the car park for the station for a week or however long it was I had to go and get the car so uh, I did that and I had to take the children with me and uh, he parked it so that I could just drive out of the parking space which was kind of good of him so I didn't have to worry and uh, I remember the children one of the children saying but mum you can't drive <laughs> yes I can but the car we've got now I've never driven it so I wouldn't want to I think if for some reason husband couldn't drive and we were somewhere I'd have to just we'd just have to abandon it I think I wouldn't feel confident enough just jumping in and driving it right I'm grabbing my darker um, brown now this is I'm just giving it a sharpen as you can probably hear this is the burned umber this is really quite a dark brown <clears throat> excuse me and I just want to go around the edge of the wooden pieces just to give them a sort of darker edge I do think it just helps to sort of frame things a little bit I'm going to do this quite quickly and sort of the shadow around here as well um, yeah so no I don't uh, so yeah I used to so I would walk them to school and then if I went into town I'd have a walk as well in round town but uh, now I don't they um, obviously they got too old to be walked to school so I sort of got out of the habit of doing that I would sometimes pick them up if I happened to be in town but they would hate that it's not mum why'd you do that I remember the same thing happening actually when I was a child and uh, my mum would go to town with her sister um, one day a week same day every week you know and because they happened to pass my school on their way home my primary school um, they would wait for me there to t walk home with me and I'd hate it I'd want them to uh, I said why have you done that you know I can walk on my own and I would walk with my sister and my friend home anyway she um, she sort of lived fairly near to us um, she would uh, turn the other way at one point you know with go separate ways but I felt like I wanted to be a grown-up not picked up by my mum and people go your mum and your gran have come to pick you up and it was actually my mum's sister but her sister brought her up which is about she was um 15 years older than her something like that there were a lot of children in the family um and the sister was the oldest and my mum was the youngest, so there's a big age gap. And there were sort of there were sort of twelve in between, maybe. A big family. And everyone says, Were they Catholics? I said, like, No. Just like children. They wanted lots of children. And uh, but the sister ended up having to bring them up because the mother died in childbirth. She was told after about eight that she shouldn't have any more. She had four. She had fourteen in all. So, uh, but um, apparently she just wanted more. I don't know any. Obviously, I don't know much about her. Right. Let's do some lines in the wood, like wood grain. Just a few rough ones. It's a bit of fun and then we can actually get on to some of the plants now they're quite small it's hard to know quite how to color them you could do them really detailed but it's gonna color there it's a bit messy but I'm not sure whether I want to do that or whether I just want to sort of do them fairly quickly mm. It's a tricky one or whether do I do all the green the same and do all the pots multicolored I think I might do that that might be fun so I could use the same green for every every bit of plant that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use I've got a sap green here and the reason I've chosen this is because it's a fairly um, I'm just checking yeah it's a fairly middle middling green so it'll sort of go with everything 
and it's my longest one so there isn't really a logical choice and what I'm going to do is colour everything a bit darker at the bottom and lighter at the top in the way that I so often do and just go through the whole lot and and this bit I'm sorry I don't know how well you can see I know I'm zoomed out quite a bit I could come in a bit closer couldn't I mm. now we've got that bit off the bottom I think that's about as far as I can go <clears throat> but uh, anyway um, yeah my mum had a happy childhood being brought up by her sister her sister was quite the disciplinarian I gather but then with all those children around I think you'd have to be um, but she could cook well she could sew she made the clothes she you know obviously she did all the washing and ironing and uh, I've just got to blow my nose, sorry. And, uh, you know, did it very well. Of course, I only knew her once she was much older and no children at home. My mum was the last to leave home. She was, I think she said they were, she was engaged for quite some time before leaving home. Her and my dad saved up for a deposit on a mortgage before they left home they didn't want to rent and uh, he was an apprentice so was she actually so it took them quite a while to do that and um, yeah so uh, I've just got had an idea about how to colour this I'm going to tell you about it because I might forget and I might do something else um, I was thinking maybe I could do like a rainbow um, obviously you've got the green and brown already done but I was thinking maybe I could do like on this top shelf I'm not sure if it's going to work I'll think about it as I colour these leaves I'm actually blocking in these ivy leaves they're so difficult to colour I'm just putting some colour down I'm thinking maybe the very top shelf flowers could be yellow and the pots could be orange then on the next shelf the flowers could be red or we've got a red apple and the pots could be, um, I'm trying to think, what, what's, the, what's the rainbow? Red, yellow, orange, red. What comes next? I can't remember. Oh my goodness. Um, is it sort of pink, blue? I could make it up. I know um, um, it's red comes first, doesn't it? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet indigo or indigo violet I can't remember I might do it my way so I might go yellow then orange on the top shelf then the next shelf red and maybe a pink then maybe purple and blue on the bottom shelf maybe that'll work that's my thought but I might change my mind but I thought we'd share the idea and then if you like it and want to try it and I don't um, try it then it's something for you to have a go at so uh, it could be fun but this leaf colouring is going to take some time but anyway those could be leaves but I'm going to leave them as flowers because get a bit more a bigger pop of colour then don't we so right. now you could take a bit longer and make them look neater you could use several shades of green to uh, to make them stand out a little bit more too but uh, I'm sort of cheating and doing it quickly today I'm uh, I don't know I'm thinking I want to do this all in one video which is why I'm sort of going I'm not doing it in so much detail that's because I've decided to get back to doing some Rooms of Wonder for you tomorrow. So uh, I was almost going to record that now and then I thought, oh gosh, I've got to get the uh, Planner 1 done first because it's a bit easier if you do them in time order, <laughs> really. Or else I didn't want to forget to do this one and then it come up on the day and I didn't have it done. So, uh, yeah. And uh, I was just been um, putting up the morning videos for the rest of the month. 
so that was good. But I've uh, just got to get this one done. And then it's a short month, of course, as well. So actually, just thinking about it tomorrow or today, we've got to do a completed pages video, haven't we? So that'll be interesting. But I don't record those too far in advance because uh, you want to see a nice amount, you know, a full month's worth colouring and although I do do it a bit in advance of some of the pictures that I do at the end of this month or carry on to next month's video I uh, just check it I hadn't forgotten those um, yeah although you know I still want to try and make sure you see most of them <clears throat> but I always like to record a bit in advance I could put the completed pages video in March of course but it's uh, It'll probably end up going in this month. Might might be today. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't quite planned. Might make more sense to go in today. I don't know. Um, it won't be today. She's lying. Because today is this. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, it might be tomorrow. It might be neat. Because I think it's the 27th, isn't it? So yeah, it'd be neat to be tomorrow. That's right. And then maybe the uh, start the rooms of wonder again the day after. I've got a lot of different things planned. It's good fun. But it makes me want to get on fast and do it all, which um, I can't do because I've run out of um, not energy for colouring because I colour all the time. Not quite literally, not in bed. Um, <laughs> not when I'm asleep. I haven't even dreamt of colouring before. Not yet. I'm really surprised. But anyway, um, no, I uh, I sort of run out of voice and things to say. And, you know, I have to sort of talk nearly continuously during the video, I think. And uh, I sort of run out of voice and, as I say, thing, different things to talk about to you. Goodness, this is a big old plant, isn't it? It's taking a lot of colouring. But we're nearly there but if you want to see um, the video that I did <clears throat> of this page in more detail um, where I sort of zoomed in close and did each pot really carefully um, that's on my YouTube channel um, if you um, it's this is a world of flowers page isn't it so if you look in the world of flower if you there's several ways of finding videos on my channel. You can go to the playlists, and there's a World of Flowers playlist. I'm just going to sharpen which it'll be on. But also, um, I think that's going to break. Um, also, um, uh, well, you can go onto the sort of homepage of my channel, um, and there's a search, so you can... Um, down near to the channel name not the search right at the top which is a general YouTube search but a bit lower down and you can search specifically on my channel for things so there you could put in World of Flowers I can't remember what I called it this series I'll try and put a link in the um, in the description I think that would be easiest I would note it down but I've forgotten to bring my notebook through so uh, that's a bit, was a bit silly of me wasn't it but uh, anyway, I'll uh, I'll try and remember and put a link in for you, so you can go and look at it if you want to do that one. Um, so yeah, those flat those leaves I didn't pay too much attention to. These I'm going to try and fade towards the tip. They're still a bit small for that. <clears throat> I often wonder, I don't know if you do, whether it takes Johanna longer to draw a picture than it does us to colour it. I mean, obviously it takes her time to think of the idea and then she has to sort of sketch it out and maybe re-sketch it a few times, I would imagine, until it looks how she wants. I'm going to do those as flowers just to bring a bit of colour into this page. And here, I might do all of these as flowers, although they just look the same, and these bits green. I'll have a think whether I stick with that idea or not, I'm not sure. Um, and then, of course, she has to ink it and then scan it 
and then um, sort of play around with it on her computer, presumably to neaten it up. And then, um, you know, decide if she likes it, I suppose. And that's a, a long old process, I would think. I suspect some pictures take a lot longer than others. Um, I wonder if there are things she has to keep redrawing. But I suspect certain things she's drawn so many times that she can just do it in her sleep. But other things she might have think she hasn't drawn so often she might have to sort of practice a bit I suppose it'd be quite interesting to uh, I mean we do see bits of her process don't we so uh, it's quite interesting um, I think yeah I'm I'm not sure because we have that is red that is red that's there's a lot of red there but maybe that's okay um yeah, so uh, I'll be just interested. I'm just perhaps I'm just nosy. I'm gonna do the edge of this one in the green. I think it'll frame it quite nicely. Okay. But uh, I just heard my boys moving about the home again today, but uh, they're supposed to be working, so I thought I'd come through and record. Um, I think one of them's going to be streaming this afternoon, actually, so maybe that might have been a better time to record. But never mind. I might pop out. Husband needs some vitamins, I think he said. So I might pop out and buy some of those. But uh, we'll see. As I say, I should really be doing more walking. So perhaps I should... I'm sort of been a bit put off today because it's raining. I've already popped outside to put the bins away and uh, it was drizzling. Not too much. I was spitting really. I uh, didn't bother with a coat. Husband when it's raining, I was like, oh. There were quite a few bins to put away. I kept putting them away in the wrong place as well. I don't know why. I was trying to rush and I wasn't looking at the numbers on them. <laughs> One of them didn't have a number, so I assumed it was someone's. I put it away, and then I found theirs with their number on. I was like, oh, I had to swap it. And then I put... I, put, um, I didn't know anyone had... We've got a new paper bin, which looks a bit different to everyone else's. So I picked one up thinking it was ours, and then put it away, and then found one with our number on and realised that someone else has got one like ours. So uh, I had to swap that over. I really wasn't very awake but I was trying to hurry because husband was about to go to work and they were all blocking me his way out so <laughs> anyways it got done these stems need probably need a sharper pencil really but never mind um oh this one I knew I'd missed something right there's all our greens it's quite quick now, so we're going to start with yellow. That was my plan. I'm going to ignore snail. We'll try and remember to do them at the end. So my yellow is a cadmium yellow. And I'm going to do all the flowers on this top shelf with yellow. I'm hoping this is going to work because the green is sort of interrupting our rainbow and it won't be, there won't be one. But we'll see, won't we? You would have already seen in the thumbnail. If you looked hard. I haven't. <laughs> I can't time travel. <laughs> Sadly. Sometimes it'd be useful. There we go. Now orange pots. We have got, I think it's the um, cadmium orange. Now I'm going to keep the pots really, really simple. So I'm going to ignore Johanna's um, patterns. And I'm just going to go like this and then fade towards the middle like this and just try and make it a bit darker on the outside so you can see that difference and do that all the way along And uh, yeah, it's uh, they're all going to look the same. You might prefer to sort of mix the colours round a bit, you know, 
not have them all next to each other. Now if you wanted to, you could put some shadows in under some of these patterns to make them look more defined. I think that's what I did in my other version. But I really am just going to keep this dead simple. Mm, this is a big pot, isn't it? Oh, trying to fade it towards the middle. I was sorry, I was concentrating and not talking. That's the problem with some pictures. To concentrate too much. Oh, I don't think I should have coloured that tiny bit there. Hey-ho. Right, that's what I nearly started colouring that row in this. That wasn't the idea. So the red, we've got a red ochre. Oh, we've got a cadmium red. Hmm, I think I used the red ochre. Oh, I don't know. Let me look. The red ochre is quite orangey. I think the cadmium red is quite pinky. I think I'm going to go to the cadmium red because I think it's going to match the pink better. But we've got an apple, which may look a bit odd. It'll be all right. Look at that. It's okay. I'm going to try and make it a little dark on the edges. I need to do the uh, stalk of the apple and the leaf. I think I might do them both green with our the green we've been using for everything. Now with these stems, if you want, you can take your green and the ones up here, you can take your green pencil and you can draw over them so they don't look black. You know, they look greener. I don't tend to do that though. I tend to just leave them black. What I've noticed that Chris Cheng does with hers is she does it to the side in colour and then takes away the pencil, the, the um, black so they look coloured. I'm just going to grab my sap green and do the this. I know the stalk's usually brown but we're using we're using green for everything so I've done a, used a bit of artistic licence there. And done it in. Now you might prefer to do these in green, because we've got some more red there, it might be a bit too much red, but it's up to you. I just saw a splash of colour in the middle, might just look nice, but you know, it. I think this probably is supposed to be green really. I mean part of the plant, the leaf, not not flowers, but when you see a bit like that to me it looks a bit floral. There we go. Now our pots, I'm going to do in rose pink. So it's not a proper rainbow because we don't get pink in the rainbow. It's just a colour progression, I suppose. But uh, I just fancy doing it this way. And you can mix it up and do it however you wish. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Gosh, it's uh, it's been it, we've had a few sunny days, and I think it's got people's hopes up a little bit that spring's on its way. Today it's murky. Actually, the other day it was as well. It was so dull and dark all day. Children had the light on in their um, room um, where they were working all day. I didn't have the main light on because we're in a, we work, we have a lounge diner 
which we use as a lounge office. So it's a sort of through room, but you know you have a light in each room. And they um, they had theirs on. This is the purple I'm going to use for the flowers. Um, they had theirs on all day, but they have to be able to see properly. Whereas I've got a really nice bright lamp on my desk, so I don't need the main light on. But I ended up putting it on anyway because I couldn't see everything on my desk with the lamp. It's sort of directed to the centre of the desk, which is where I tend generally need it. But if I'm looking down at my books and things, mm, I can do these and think about that. Um, I think I might do those actually in dark brown rather than, hmm, or shall I? Hmm, don't know. I'm going to do my pots next and I'm going to use this um, heather purple for those. And I can't decide whether to do the wool in this colour or the colour of the flowers or in a um, mauve. You know, I've got the mauve in this set is a, like a really light lilac-y colour. So I'm going to miss that out too. Have a think in a bit. Got a bit of that coming out of the pot there. We've got a bit of a pink purple um, thing growing out. <laughs> Oopsie. Never mind. I think I'm trying to think whether I use these pencils for this page. I can't really think. I had a thought that I had and then I wasn't sure. I have used these in Ivy quite a bit, this actual specific set. And then someone sent me a bigger set because they said they wanted me to use a few more different colours. Because <laughs> I was always just using this set. But this is a precious set to me because it was the first thing I was gifted by someone off my wish list, which is so kind. And uh, I've had lots of other lovely gifts since but uh, it's, you know the first one you remember um more i guess this is ultramarine and uh you know i know every item that i've been gifted um and i use them all and enjoy them all and appreciate them all but uh it's uh, i just remember this was the first i don't remember the rest in order if you know what I mean some items I've got were sent to me by um, sort of publishers or online shops and things like that I was actually um, going to get something the other day but the company said they're having trouble with their UK stock so they can't send it to me it's I didn't I was a bit I was kept careful to tell them I was in the UK when they approached me I wasn't sure that they realized because I haven't seen their items for sale in the UK this is cerulean blue light I'm going to use it for the background of these paper really sort of I was trying to do it gently but it's quite a vibrant color um, so I was thought I was quite surprised that they um, contacted me to um, have one of their items to sort of, um, they wanted me to um, do a, a flip through, that sort of thing. But anyway, it is what it is. I've got plenty of things. <sighs> Very lucky. Right, ball of wool, I actually decided to do in this mauve. And I think I'm going to do the, the um, these in it as well. doesn't look that different to the um to the um 
purple, the heather purple. There's a bit. Okay, we've got a few pieces of tape and pins, and I'm going to grab this really light colour yellow, which I need to sharpen, which I've hardly used. I think it doesn't show up much, which is good for the tape. Um, it is the golden yellow. I'm going to use it here. I can see that. And then we have our snail to do. Um, hmm, I'm going to use my Payne's Grey um, for his body. Like that. I'm going to use a colour we haven't used yet, I think, for his shell. Let's just give him a sharpen. Um, this is the Terracotta Light. There we go. Now I could um, do a bit of a pastel background on there and a bit of yellow or cream just to, uh, but I think the colours pop out better from a white background to be honest. It sounds like I'm being a bit lazy, maybe I am, but I do think it, it looks better like this. So um, I'm going to leave it like that. So there is our sort of rainbow plants I guess. I shall think of a better title hopefully <laughs> before I put the video up. But thank you for watching. Have a really enjoyable Monday or rest of your Monday. Um, and uh, thank you for watching and happy colouring. <laughs>